Hello and welcome back to the channel. Uh, today is gonna be a shorter video. Let me just show you how you can rather easily modernize the look and the scripting functionality of our beloved Godot engine. So this is the Godot engine that we used to know with the rather default theme and scripting behavior. A scripting editor and this is the version of Godot engine I will be using from now on and you will see two distinct changes here one is of course when it comes to looks and second is to the scripting uh, editor embedded into engine so let me quickly discuss how we can achieve this look and scripting uh, with um, a custom theme and um, a scripting plugin. So first, let me show you what we'll be using. First thing is Godot Minimal Theme by Passive Star. You can find it easily on GitHub. And it has the screenshots, uh, but most importantly, uh, it has a description of how to actually use it. So as we can see, it is just set by using editor settings interface theme. And um, you will just download the minimal theme TRS. So this is our resource. That's great because everything in Godot is a resource. It is actively maintained. As you can see, the light, latest update was five days ago, right? And here you will also have recommended settings and the installation. Right, so if we go to editor, editor settings, and here we can find a theme. You can see that there is custom theme. Let me just use mouse highlight here. Custom theme, and here is the theme file that I downloaded, right? And also you can see that there are some settings uh, that can be adjusted. Uh, in interface theme, there is a base color, accent color, contrast, right? So the contrast, the base color, this is of course the color picker, right? It all can be adjusted to achieve this look. Of course, there are other themes, so uh, created by many different people, right? If we search for Godot custom themes, right? Uh, definitely you will find uh, even a theme collection or editor theme uh, explorer uh, so you can find the one that suits you I believe that this minimal clean dark theme is what I want uh, from my editor it looks very sharp when it comes to scripting um, the default editor is good the integration with the code is good uh, though it could be improved and uh, lacks a little bit uh, when it comes to more functionality. This can be achieved with script IDE by Maran23. Also, as you can see, actively maintained. Last update was five days ago. Uh, go to both these guys and if you can give them a star, they definitely deserve it. So to install it, the easiest way is to go to asset library and find script IDE by Maran23. And you can just download it and add it to your project. Of course, remember that just downloading it won't impact anything. You have to go to project, project settings, and go to plugins and of course have this enabled. And let me quickly show you the difference here. Oh, I need to close this. Right, this is the default scripting uh, editor embedded into engine with scripts um, being um, in the on the left side, right, and filtering of those scripts, and then the <coughs> overview of the script right here. But by turning it on, what we get is the tabs for each of our scripts and scenes. 
So this is more uh, modern, the, the things that we know from Visual Studio Code, for example. And then the filtering on the left. So maybe let's quickly go through all of those features. We of course have the tabs for each script and I can use some shortcuts, like for example, uh, control tab and control shift tab. So control tab moves you forward when it comes to tabs and control shift tab moves you backwards. Uh, what you can do is use those filtering methods to filter what you would like to navigate to. This will default left click with, will disable the filter and right click will filter everything else out. So if I would like to see only engine callbacks, I can do this, right? If I would like to only see, for example, uh, properties, I can right click and just navigate to properties. And the same goes for others. Okay, so this is really, really cool. It's really easy to navigate and filter out. Of course, the core settings are for you to easily remember what is what. Uh, what is also very, very nice is you can use Control U to move quickly through the open scripts and open tabs. So that's Control U for fast navigation. Uh, another a really good um, shortcut is um, shift shift which is like quick uh, search right i can say like to find i don't know tank movement script and or for example player so shift shift is like quick search which is very helpful when it comes to navigating stuff also for, for navigating scenes it also works, which is cool. Um, this also, um, I believe it also synchronizes your file system here. So whenever I click on the given tab, automatically file system is being synced with open tab. This is cool. Also that whole filtering that you see on your right side can be moved uh, as a um, pop-up window under your cursor by pressing Ctrl O. So I can quickly navigate without even touching my mouse and moving here. So yeah, Ctrl O, Shift Shift, uh, Ctrl Shift Tab. Uh, these are all that are uh, very helpful when it comes to using that. So this is my setup for Godot right now. Uh, so don't be surprised when in the next upcoming videos, you will see my Godot engine looking uh, and having uh, looking different and having a different script ID. I hope you like it. Uh, give it a try. Um, try it and see if you like it. I enjoy it very much. So this is a quick video of how you can make your Godot engine more modern. See you in the next one. Goodbye.